Hi, Rick Kleinecker here. In this presentation, we will use the CSS float mechanism to create layouts for your web pages. Okay, so to start with, we have some boilerplate HTML right there. And we are going to create a layout that has a header, a footer, and two columns. So to get us started, we're going to go ahead and paste in these div tags. Notice they're called head, left, right, and footer. Oops, got a little typo here. Not a typo, just something I forgot to do. Amazing that it still worked. Okay, so if I save and re-render this, it will actually look pretty bad here. Okay, um, just because I haven't really done anything to make it float. Okay, so let me find my style sheet now. I have a pre-created style sheet that is blank at the moment. And into this style sheet we're going to paste in head, left, right, footer, and just give them a border so you can see how they're, they're laid out and how everything's working. Okay, pretty much what you'd expect. Alright, so we need a way to truly have a header, a left column, a right column, and a footer. But I think even before we do that, I want to paste in some text so that this uh, web page looks kind of normal. Okay, there's a paragraph there, and we'll put three paragraphs here. And this is your typical placeholder Latin text, which everybody knows and loves. We go out here, and now we have some actual text to work with. Okay, so the key to getting this the way we need it to be is we go to our CSS file and we're going to start making some changes here. Okay, let's start by making the head a little different. Give it a three pixel border. And let's change the color for all these borders because we like to do that. Make this last one blue. That way it's just a lot easier to see what we're doing. Okay, left we're going to say float left and we're going to set a width and we're going to set a width in percentages so that the browser will adjust when it is resized so we're going to float left there and we'll make this one big since it's this the right column actually normally has the bulk of the text and the left column usually has the navigational stuff so let's see what this looks like oh there's one more thing down here in the footer, we have to add one more thing so it clears it out, and it's no longer relying on those floats. Clear both, and that way it will render correctly and give us the look that we're really after. The left column, right column, header, footer, and if we minimize, or excuse me, if we move this around and resize it, you can see that the browser is really good about resizing that, okay? So rather than use the explicit widths, we use percentages so the browser has the ability to, to adjust it for whatever size the user has set. Okay, and so we can make a couple of uh, additional changes to the CSS file just to kind of make it look a lot nicer. What we want to do in this left column, since the left and right column have different heights, usually the right column or the middle column in something like this will have uh, a larger height. So we're going to get rid of the border in the left column so users won't be able to tell that there's a difference. Um, and let's make this head. We'll give it uh, gray double. We'll do that to foot or two so they're kind of matched up. And render that. And there you go. That's our final look. Now, obviously, there's a lot more stuff you could do with this if you wanted to, but um, for right now, that gives you the idea. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a three-column layout. Let's get back to my source code, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll clean this up a little bit, get rid of this Latin crap. Okay, so I have left and right. Now I'm going to go to a center column. Label it as such. 
save that, go to my CSS now and make a few changes there. Um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to take the float stuff out just so we get back to sort of square one where we see what's going on. Black. Green. Now we'll make this one red. And the last one we'll make it blue. Okay, so... We also need to add a center, don't we? Or the center won't be styled correctly. And let's change that color to magenta. That way it will definitely stand out. Okay, save that. Go back here and refresh the browser and see what we have. All right. So there's no real formatting, no real columns, but we're kind of back to square one where everything just goes kind of linearly. So now the key to making this work the way we want it to is we go to CSS and make those necessary changes. Okay, there we go. Here's my CSS file. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave the head alone, except for I'm going to center it. Center the text, so I'll say text align center. And I will do that for the footer as well eventually. Um, left, let's go ahead and float it left. Okay. Make our width back to 20%. Now I forgot my semicolon. And lastly, let's give it a little padding. So it's not uh, directly against the left part of the screen. Okay, in the center. Let's go ahead and make it float left also. Let's give it a width of 60. It's going to be the bulk of our presentation material. And let's give it also a little padding so that we have a little space between the columns. Finally, our right column, float left again, give it a width of 17. We don't have much left to work with, so 17 might be about all we can afford. Padding, so it's not directly up against the left column, or excuse me, the center column that would be. Now let's kind of format our footer. We still have a footer we need to clear. Clear both. We'll say width 100%, so it spans the entire. And let's say text align center, as we did. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the header also 100% here, just to be consistent. Okay, save that. Go here, hit a refresh. Um, and that's not exactly what I was hoping for. And I think the reason is, is that my math didn't quite add up on those columns. So let's go back and look at my math and see what I did wrong. For left, we have 20 plus 1% padding. That's 21. For right, we have 60 plus 1. That's 61. So far, we've got 82 plus 18. That should be enough. But somehow, I think with the borders, that really sort of knocked us out. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock all these down a bit. I'm going to knock down this uh, width here by, say, 2. And I'll knock down the width here by, say, 2. Save and see what happens now. There we go. That's really what I wanted. And you can experiment with this in any way you, you need to to get the right kind of layout. Let me just kind of take the browser down and see what I have. OK, that, that looks like what I would expect. All right. So now what we want to do is paste some of that uh, Latin text in there and get an idea of what it's going to look like. So let me go back to my source code and paste some Latin text in there. And here we'll paste one, two, three. And here we'll just paste one. I have a real bad habit, even though it doesn't matter that this stuff is indented, 
from my C++ programming, I have a really bad habit of um, being obsessive about that uh, formatting stuff. Okay, so you have now what looks like fairly reasonable three-column setup. Um, as you can see that the um, in the center, if we got rid of their borders, nobody could tell that they have had a different height. So let's go to the CSS file and get rid of the borders so that regardless of their relative heights, you won't know the difference. Refresh that guy, and there you go. So that's your basic three-column uh, layout. I encourage you to experiment, but for right now, uh, that's it for this presentation, and I will see you in the next installment.